finding that extreme weather has already been increasing. And we're seeing those increases in the American West and in British Columbia. So the future doesn't look bright. The number of wildfires around the world is expected to rise in the coming years. And according to the United Nations, governments are not prepared for what's to come. Mike Flanagan, a Thompson Rivers University wildfire expert and BC Research Chair, co-authored the Dyer Report released by the UN last month. He was one of the many scientists who contributed to the report, which states the number of wildfires globally is expected to increase by 50 percent by the year 2100. But Flanagan says the estimate is likely low. They suggest a 50 percent. I think that's conservative. I think we're going to see a lot more than 50 percent. Though scientists have been quite accurate predicting rising temperatures, Flanagan says intense wildfire seasons like BC experienced in 2017, 2018 and 2021 weren't expected to be seen for another 20 years. Some wildfires are natural and beneficial to the ecosystem. They can stimulate new forest growth and control invasive species like the pine beetle. Flanagan says fires not expected to impact communities need to be allowed to burn. We're past the point where we have to put out every single fire. There are times when we have to let Mother Nature do her thing when and where possible. Much of the extreme climate changes BC is facing can be linked to human-caused global warming. Flanagan says even if green initiatives are accepted globally, we could still be seeing the negative impacts of past pollution for decades to come. And the scary part is even if we stop today, we would continue to warm for 20 to 30 years, maybe more, because there's lags in our climate system. In February, the province announced $76 million over three years would be provided to local governments to make municipalities more fire resilient and to prepare for future climate disasters. Flanagan says it's a step in the right direction, but it may be coming too late. I, I wrote a paper with a colleague in the 90s saying on fire and climate change and a call to action. We need to be urgently addressing this. And I'm saying the same thing 25 years later, it kind of, you know, huh, you know it's, it's hard, but I still have hope, okay? Sydney Chisholm, Castanet News, Kamloops.